They say in politics, there are no permanent friends or enemies, only permanent interests. And looking at what's happening in West Asia, it seems about right. Mortal enemies are talking to each other. Communal rivals are signing trade agreements. Tonight, we're talking about one such relationship, Israel and Turkey. It's been a peculiar journey, full of ups and downs. Turkey was the first Muslim nation to recognize Israel. They voted against partitioning Palestine, but they also recognized Israel. This was way back in 1949. There was trade, military cooperation, strategic agreements, all of it. Then came Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Initially, nothing changed. In 2005, Erdogan visited Israel. He said he wanted to be a West Asia peace negotiator. He also laid a wreath at the Holocaust Memorial. This was Erdogan, the Prime Minister, not Erdogan, the President. The new Erdogan, the president, wants to be the champion of the Islamic world. So Israel went from friend to target. In 2018, he recalled his ambassador to Israel. This was after the US relocated its embassy to Jerusalem. And since then, the ties have completely collapsed. Erdogan calls Israel a terror state, and Israel accuses Erdogan of funding the Hamas. Now, after three years, things are slowly improving. Israel's president is all set to visit Turkey next month. Erdogan is calling it a new era in bilateral ties. We are ready to take every step with Israel in this field of energy. In fact, Israeli President Mr. Herzog will pay a visit in the first week of February. This visit may pave way for a new era in Turkish-Israeli relations. You can understand why Israel accepted this invitation. A Muslim nation hosting their president, it's too big to reject. But what's up with Erdogan? Why is he softening his stance? First, he congratulated the Israeli president on his appointment. Then his foreign minister called his Israeli counterpart. And now this invitation. Do not mistake this for an ideological change. It's more of a compulsion. And I will tell you why. Reason one is Turkey's economy. It is in the dumps. Their inflation is at 36 percent, unemployment at 11.7 percent. Erdogan is realizing that his current lot of friends are not helping. Iran is sanctioned, Russia is busy, and Pakistan is broke. As for the West Asian powerhouses, Erdogan has alienated all of them, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Israel. With elections next year, he needs to turn the economy around, hence the outreach. Reason number two, to please the Americans. Joe Biden sanctioned Turkey for buying missiles from Russia. Erdogan needs them lifted. And for that, he needs to show his commitment to America. And what better way than to reach out to US allies? By the way, it's not just Israel. Erdogan is courting all his rivals. He will visit both Saudi Arabia and the UAE next month. It's a massive realignment. There is no doubt about it. But the problem is the motive. Every foreign policy is based on national interest. But Erdogan's policy is based on self-interest. He doesn't care about a stable relationship or about real partnerships. All he cares about is power. And that complicates this outreach. Some in the Israeli media have pointed this out. I'll tell you what one article says. Turkey's pitch regarding Israel relations is rooted in a 1950s outlook. In all the discussions with Ankara or claims of reconciliation, the only narrative that comes out is that Turkey profits and Israel gets nothing. And this is precisely the issue. Is Erdogan actually willing to dehyphenate Israel and Palestine, or is this all about short term benefits? His track record does not inspire confidence. Let me tell you what happened in August 2020. Erdogan welcomed a delegation of Hamas leaders in Istanbul. Some of them had a $5 million bounty on them. And guess who issued that bounty? The United States. This sort of double game is an Erdogan speciality, so Israel will be cautious in dealing with him. He's not like the UAE or Bahrain. In those cases, there was clarity. They needed Israeli tech and money. Israel needed their recognition, clear equation. But with Turkey, Israel already has recognition. So they need to ask themselves, what's in it for them? Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.